Kuching City, with a population of around 500,000, is one of the most livable cities in the region. The city prides itself with modern and well-planned infrastructure, lush greenery, fresh air and friendly residents. However, with its ever-growing population, the city is urgently in need of a comprehensive wastewater management system and sewerage system to tackle the pollution problem that is affecting its rivers and waterways. Until now, human waste generated from households around Kuching is discharged into septic tanks located at individual households. This century-old method brings with it problems such as leakages from poorly maintained and overflowing tanks. The highly polluting black water is discharged into the drains and eventually into the Sarawak River. Similarly, grey water generated from household kitchens and washing is also directly discharged into our waterways, totally untreated. The discharge is detrimental to the environment and ecology. In view of the seriousness of this situation, the implementation of a modern wastewater management system and sewerage treatment system for Kuching is eminent in order to effectively put a stop to the degradation of our waterways and to improve the general health and well-being of this beautiful city. Responding to this need, the Sarawak State Government has given the approval to the implementation of the Kuching Wastewater Management System. The reticulation system is divided into five areas, namely Area A, covering mainly the Chan BQ and Patana, as well as areas surrounding MBKS. Area B includes the entire Padungan, Air Bell, Ban Hock and Central Road, parts of Tabuan Road and McDougal Road. Area C extends to Reservoir Park, areas along Tun Abang Haji Openg Road, Haji Taha, Dato Ajiba Abol, parts of Sato and Rubber Road. Area D covers the vicinity of Tun Ahmad Zaidi Road, Green Road and Pisang Road. And Area E includes the entire Sato commercial area before the Sato Bridge. Area A involves large institutions and commercial buildings, while areas B, C, D and E include both the above as well as residential properties. A main sewer pipeline with 270,000 population equivalent capacity extends from the treatment plant located next to the Zikon Toll Plaza, runs south towards the Sarawak River and tunnels under the river bed towards the Pending area. From here, the main trunk will head west passing the Kwong Lee Bank Road area along Dato Abang Abdul Rahim Road and Padungan Road before it turns into Central Road East and thereafter Central Road West. The main trunk finally branches out at the end of Bahrudin Road, south towards Saburkas Building and north towards Sato, both connecting to the adjoining secondary pipelines. The main trunk connects to another secondary pipeline at the Padungan roundabout in front of the HSBC building and the other at the junction of Badrudin and Tun Haji Openg in front of the police complex. The secondary pipelines will then join a series of tertiary pipelines that will connect directly to individual properties. The secondary and tertiary pipelines are designed to enable property connections of up to 67,000 population equivalent. Guardhouse, Operation Building, Generator House, Sesco Substation, Process Plants. The process plants are made up of Influent Pumping Station, Headworks, Activated Sludge Reactor, Flow Distribution Chamber, Secondary Clarifiers, Dewatering Thickening Building, Biofilter. The slurry method is a trenchless pipe laying method that is suitable for harder soil conditions 
and pipelines with depth of between 6 to 27 meters. During construction, traffic dispersion is minimal and on-site setup is kept relatively compact. In this method, the setup consists of a container, a generator set and a separation tank. The process involves the construction of a jacking shaft for the lowering of the tunnel boring machine and pipes on one end and a receiving shaft for the retrieval of the tunnel boring machine and other fittings on the other end. The rotating cutter bores through the soil, guided by a laser piloting system. Power jet streams wash the soil down the discharge line, while a powerful pump transports the slurry to ground level into the separation tank. The water will then be continuously recycled for use in the tunnel boring process. Pipes are jacked into position as the rotating cutter head bores through the soil to create a tunnel. When the laying work is completed, the shafts are filled and then sealed with manhole covers to allow for future maintenance works. For residential buildings such as terrace, semi-detached and detached houses, Wastewaters are collected into a 900 mm wide inspection chamber next to the boundary fence and from there on connected to the public sewer network. 100 mm diameter underground UPVC pipes and rotting access chambers which provide speedy installation, connection and minimal excavation will be used. In situations where space is limited, a small pump may be installed in order to channel the wastewater above ground to the public sewer line via a 75 mm diameter UPVC pipe. The existing septic tank will then be decommissioned, disinfected and backfilled with sand for safety and hygienic reasons. When fully implemented, the centralized sewerage system as part of the overall Kuching City Wastewater Management System will elevate the standard of living of the city to be on par with other modern cities in the world. The Sarawak River, Kuching's main waterway for transport and recreation, will eventually be revitalized, offering a safe and aesthetically pleasant environment for the people to enjoy.